How we doing, Red Sox Nation? Today is February 26th, 2019. This is your Balls Deep Red Sox vlog brought to you by Guy Boston Sports over at GuyBostonSports.com. Uh, we get the fresh gear, Balls Deep hoodies, and of course, um, absolutely phenomenal hats over at Guy Boston Sports. You can check out the store. Um, Hats come in Red Sox color. There's blue for the Patriots. There's um, yellow for the Bruins. And there's green for the Celtics. So all four uh, major sports are represented. So check it out. Today on the vlog, we're going to talk a little bit about the um, corner infield positions, which I think is a, is an area of strength for the Red Sox. I think they have plenty of depth there. Um, it's one of the, you know, with a lot of impending free agents coming, you know, coming down the line, especially this year. Uh, with guys like, you know, uh, Chris Sale, um, J.D. Martinez, and um, Xander Bogarts, potential free agents. Um, you know, the Red Sox have a lot of uh, a lot of things to think about, but luckily, corner infield is not, uh, is not one of those uh, concerns. So I just want to break down the roster as it's currently constituted, you know, uh, what's going on there. Um, We'll start with first base. So obviously there's a platoon of Mitch Moreland and um, Steve Pierce over at first base. Mitch Moreland is a left-handed um, hitter who has power and some pop. Steve Pierce obviously has some pop. World Series MVP. Um, big big hits last year for uh, for Steve Pierce. And, um, you know, he's the right-handed complement. So I think those guys are going to play pretty evenly. I think... You know, especially a guy like Moreland. Moreland can be super streaky. He was an all-star last year. Um, kind of fell off in the second half, but, you know, had pretty decent, uh, pretty decent run in the playoffs. He had that big home run against the Dodgers um, and that comeback, um, that comeback victory in game four. So, um, you know, for this year, I have, I'm glad they re-signed Pierce. I'm glad it was for one year. I, I think that's going to work well for them. This year, um, and if, if it doesn't for some reason, the Red Sox have some options. So let's break it down. So Mitch Moreland last year, um, 0 0.09 more, 15 home runs, though, in um, just 124 games. So, you know, I, I like that power. And again, he was an all-star. He hit 254, which was, you know, okay. Um, but, you know, Mitch Moreland, we know what he is. He's been with the Sox now for a couple of years. Um, he'll be fine as a left-handed platoon uh, player. Steve Pierce, um, 1.4 war last year between the Red Sox and the Blue Jays. Um, he hit 284 and 11 home runs in 76 games. And I can only imagine that the Red Sox will play him more than 76 games. Balls deep mugs too. Absolutely phenomenal mug. Anywho, so... That's what you got to, you know, over at first base already. You have Raphael Devers over at third base. I think, you know, he's supposed to have, um, he's supposed to have, you know, gotten into great shape. You know, we hear that every year from um, from the Red Sox and ownership and the media. So we'll see. I mean, he's supposedly only lost two pounds, but he's, you know, got, he's super jacked or whatever this year. So we'll see. But, you know, the main thing I want to concentrate on this spring so far watching the games, uh, first of all, Michael Chavez is absolutely uh, lighting it up. Uh, in spring training, which I know might not mean too much, but I think for young players, it means a lot. I think, you know, I wouldn't be too concerned if, you know, a guy like Andrew Benintendi hit 185 and hit two home runs in the, you know, in the spring, that wouldn't bother me at all. Same thing with Mookie Betts. Those guys are established. I'm not too concerned with it, but, you know, you have a bunch of guys over at the hot corner that are trying to make a name for themselves. So you have Michael Chavez, by the way, all these guys the Red Sox have at least entertained the thought of going, you know, they, they play a little bit of first base, a little bit of third base. So these guys are de definitely, some of them play the outfield. So we'll break it down. So Michael Chavez is um, playing third base and uh, for the Red Sox, he's the top prospect in their farm system. Um, he's about, he's like 80 ish overall in baseball depends on what uh, outlet you're using to determine prospect value. Um, raw power. Um, the one thing that I've noticed about him, the one thing that the scouts are sort of noticing about him is that he's, 
spreading the ball all over the field. He's becoming more of a complete hitter. Um, you know, he, you know, let's not, we have to address the elephant in the room. He was popped for PEDs last year. Um, but he came back and he seems to be on track. Um, so, I mean, he's been playing at second base. I mean, that's crazy too. I mean, I don't know if that's a, a backup for Pedroia or if that's a contingency plan for Dustin Pedroia. That's a, a vlog for another time, the Pedroia vlog. He's also been in left field. And of course, you know, the outfield's pretty legit. Brock Holt can play out there. Um, you know, so uh, Steve Pierce can play out there. So I don't know if he's going to see too much time in the outfield, but that's it. He's an acceptable defender. Um, but right now it's, he's doing, uh, he's doing all the talking with his bat. So he had a home run against the Yankees on Saturday and currently in the spring, he's hitting 429 and it's only been four games, but um, pretty impressive numbers. I would expect Chavez to be up in the majors later this year. Um, you know, even regardless if there's an injury or anything, I would, I would expect him to be up there. Um, some of your other options coming down the line, it's, you know, it's super crowded. So, uh, you have Tristan Cassis, six, four absolute masher. Um, he's playing third first and he's got great range. He's a left-handed hitter, uh, which is important because, you know, the next guy I talk about Bobby Dahlbeck. Okay. He's also playing first base. Um, I believe he's playing first base today. And he's got a strong arm, and he's a solid defender, right-handed hitter. Um, so, you know, we'll see where that co corner outfield logjam kind of comes through. I think ultimately what I'd like to see is one of these guys, whether it's, you know, whether it's Travis or Cassis, um, probably move to first base because Moreland's up at the end of the year. Pierce is up at the end of the year. You know, They've been working with Rafael Devers, and this is just an eyeball test. I think he's performed a lot better over at third base defensively. Um, the second half of of last season and even in the playoffs. So I'd like to see one of those guys, either um, Cassis, Dahlbeck, or Chavez move uh, to first base. And I'm sure that's going to be kind of uh, worked out. You know, the other intriguing player that they have is Sam Travis, who's kind of gotten lost in the mix. He's over there as well. Um, Travis does not have, he's, he doesn't have more than nine homers in a, um, in a complete baseball season. So he's played some left, um, played from first, played some first. Um, I think he needs to light up Pawtucket this year. If he, if he wants any chance of, of seeing any real major league time, because these other guys, um, just from what I, you know, the, the stats, what I've seen from these other guys, I think they're going to be better players than um, Sam Travis. So I think he really has to light it up this year. And um, I, I would ultimately say look for him to be uh, trade bait at some point this year. I mean, I don't know how much you're going to get from him. I think he's 25 years old, so he's still relatively young. Maybe a change of scenery will do, uh, do him well. Um, but I'm really looking forward to seeing if Michael Chavez can um, continue to go on this tear. Also excited to see um, Bobby Dahlbeck, who hit a home run, um, I believe it was against Northeastern, uh, absolute moon bomb. So corner infield positions, that's where all your top prospects are. Um, look forward to seeing how this shakes up. Uh, again, one of those guys like to see move to first. Keep Devers where he is. Um, he's only 20. I mean, he's younger than these other guys. So, I mean, let's let's not forget that. Um moving forward so that's it third base first base corner infield vlog that's a wrap hope you guys have a great day spring training is in full effect for all you people in case you can't tell i'm a little bit sinusy so uh i'd like to thank all the people down in fort myers enjoying the sunshine uh meanwhile it's like uh hurricane um hurricane chaos here in um, massachusetts so uh enjoy your day and uh look forward to seeing you in the next vlog coming up we're going to be doing um going to be talking about the catchers at some point um how that's going to shake out and uh we're also going to take a look at the bullpen uh, because that is going to be an absolute disaster if they go with bullpen by committee so that's coming up within the next week and until then we'll see you next time take care balls deep vlog red Sox. Brought to you by Guy Boston Sports at GuyBostonSports.com.